Hello and welcome to DIY Days. Today I've got another crochet video for you. And as you can see, uh, I've got um, some pink wool here and my crochet needle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you different styles of stitches. So, stain, uh, chain stitches, uh, half stitches, normal stitches, fixed pitch, everything. So, yeah, I'm going to show you slowly so you can pick it up quicker. Uh, I've got loads of videos uh, on my other channel or on this channel. And um, yeah, you can make different hats, different scarves, different bags. It's really fun, so I'd say if you get it under control, uh, you can have a look on those other videos. Right, we're going to start. We're going to start with the needle. Uh, it's size um, 3.5 needle and 3.5 wool, so that will do. Some people prefer a slightly thicker needle, uh, just because you get slightly bigger holes uh, in between the stitches, but that's completely up to you. So this one is slightly thinner, which is fine. So we're going to make a dot for the one to start with. So we're going to fold it around two fingers and then lay the string behind your index finger. Go with your needle in and pull the string up. Like that. So it's like a needle. Right, let's sh show you again. So place it around your finger, place it behind it. Go with the needle in, go through the loop and Grab the string and pull through. Right, this is the end of the string. You can leave it slightly longer, you can make it slightly shorter, it's completely fine. Right, we're going to place it on the hand, which is easier to work with. So, what we're going to do, we're going to place the string between your pinky and your ring finger and go then around your index finger. I'll show you again. So place the string between your pinky and your ring finger, go over your other fingers and around your index finger. And there we go. This way you can get some more strength, more tightness in your in your yarn, in your string, which is easier to crochet with rather than a loose string. Right, I'm gonna show you how to make chain stitches. So what we do you place your needle under, over, and pull the string through. Like that. So, I've got another needle again. So, under and pull through. Under and pull through. So the, the part that I've already yeah, crocheted here, uh, it's easy to hold it with your thumb and your middle finger. With crochet it's always good to keep your work quite, uh, not, yeah, not too loose, but not too tight either, not too loose. Because your work is going to be very flappy in the end, basically, you're going to get massive holes, it's not going to be nice. So you need to have it kind of constantly under some kind of force, some kind of pressure, but not too much. That's why we're holding it. Right, these are called chain stitches. That's how it looks, like a little braid basically. I'm going to show you how to make the Fixed pitch. So the needle that's the string that's under over your needle, that's one one stitch, then you go one back, you go two stitches back. So in the second one that you go back, you place your needle through there. Pull your string through one, so you have two loops 
on your needle at the moment. Then again, pull over, go inwards, pull over, and pull your string through both. Through both loops. Right, okay. So we go in the next stitch, create a loop. So we're going to pull through one, leave it on your needle, and then again pull through. But now we're going to go through both loops. There we go. So basically, we're crocheting backwards and we get some height in it. So, yeah, through one, pull through both loops. And again, pull through, push through one, create a loop, create a loop again, pull through both. Okay. I'm going to do that the whole row backwards. Pull through one and then pull through both. So these are fixed pitch stitches. Fixed stitches basically. So you get some height in your work by doing this stitch. So we're at the end. That was one row of like the fixed stitch. So at the end we're gonna do two chain stitches. Then we're going to turn your work around and now we need to go backwards. So we're going to do half stitches now. For half stitches what we're doing, you always need to start with two chain stitches or three even. That's up to you how much height. So you always pull over, you push through, pull over a loop again. So now you've got three, pull through two, oh, all three sorry. Right, so turn, so turn over, push through the stitch that you'd like to go through, pull another loop through, so you got three, and then pull over again, and then through all three. Turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through all three. Turn over, pull through, and again. Turn over with the string, pull through, so you've got three, turn over and pull through all three. You can see it's, the half stitches are slightly bigger than the previous row of stitches. And uh, yeah, it's because we have three turn over, so you have extra string that you use per stitch, that's why. Half stitch is, is one that is, uh, is used quite a lot. Turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through, and turn over, pull through all three. So, it's a bit of a string there. Turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through, turn over, pull through all three. These are stitches that take a little bit longer than other stitches. We have, uh, yeah, it's quite a common one. It's slightly bigger stitches, and it's you can oversee it a bit better because you get a little bit of, you get a slight bit of holes between every stitch. Uh, 
So the next row that you're doing, you can pull. Your, your stitch is between the previous stitches, so you can see it better, you can count your stitches better. Alright, pull through and turn over, pull through all three. I'm nearly at the end here as well. So that's one round of half stitches. Now you go that. I'll show you the third row, which is stitches, just normal stitches. Alright, that's how it looks at the moment. So here you got the normal, the, the fixed pitch, and then you got the half stitches, and now we're gonna go with the normal stitch. So we're gonna do three chain stitches. Two, three. Turn your work around. Turn over, pull through. So we're going again through the same stitch. We again pull the stitch. I uh, pull straight, sorry. But now you turn over again, but you only go through two this time. So you have two on your on your hook. Turn over, and then you pull through the, these two. So it's basically half stitch plus another stitch essentially. Turn over, pull through. Create a loop, so you've got three. Create a loop, pull through two, and create a loop, pull through the last two. So they're much, much bigger than the other two. And there's much more height in it. So basically you start with a half stitch, but instead of going through all three, you go through two. You create, a, create another loop, and you go through the last two. Pull through two, create a loop, pull through two. Turn it over, pull through, turn, create a loop, pull through two, turn it over, pull through two. So you do much higher stitches. Turn it over, pull through, turn it over, pull through two, turn it over, pull through two. Two, pull through two. Turn over, pull through two. I pull through two. Turn over, pull through, pull through two. Turn over, pull through two. And again. We're nearly at the end. I'll show you how we'll close it off as well. So with these kind of techniques, people make scarves and stuff. It's quite common to make scarves uh, with this, yeah, with this technique. Because there's a lot of height in it. And, and the actual, uh, yeah, finishing looks really nice as well. Right, that's how it looks. So this is number three done. So I'm gonna grab the scissors. Cut the scissors. I'll leave the needle in there. Pull through two. Or pull through, sorry. <laughs> and then you can make a knot. And this is how it looks. So we got three types of stitches here. We've got the Fixed pitch, half a stitch, and then we've got the normal stitches on the top. Yeah, it's good practicing this way. Uh, if you uh, got it under control and you can get along with it, I'd say have a look on our other videos to make uh, hats and scarves and bags and you name it. 
So I'd say have a look at that. If you've got any questions, please write it down below. And hopefully we'll see you soon. And yeah, you'll have fun uh, getting along with it. Hopefully we'll see you soon the next time, dear Have a good day. Bye.